Oh, it looks f***ing gross. By gross, I mean great. <sighs> That's tasty. Welcome to Christo's Cafe. Today we are making the most light, airy, delightful, elevated Mississauga Margarita. Now with something as simple as a Mississauga Margarita, we're only going to have three ingredients. They have to be the most freshly, locally sourced ingredients. You want it to be beautiful, to be vibrant, to really add flavor to that Mississauga Margarita. Now, first things first, we have our ice. Now this ice, local, from the tap, but double distilled. Don't be a donkey, don't cheap out on your ice. Double distilled ice, it is very important. We're going to take our shaker cup and we're going to fill it. That one's on the floor, but we're going to fill it about halfway with our ice. We want our margarita to be light, to be chilled, to be frigid. And there we go, we have our ice halfway up, our shaker cup here. Now, next up, we add the finest quality beer, Budweiser, the king of beers is right here. Now, we're not going to go and get any kind of import, anything like that. This Budweiser, I'm not sure if you can see that here, is actually brewed locally in Canada, in Montreal, down the street. And this is a beautiful, light, golden color beer. So, with the beer and the orange juice, you're going to want to have a two, to three ratio. You're going to have three parts beer, two part orange juice. Let's go ahead and add that. Oh, that looks delightful. The combination, the bubbles, nice, light, airy. It's going to add a tremendous amount of flavor to our margarita. Now, finally, Oasis premium orange juice. Now, premium with pulp. This is very important. Very important, the pulp will add texture. You don't want to have this as a smooth drink just going down. You want to add texture. You want to add that extra bite, that extra energy to it. So we're gonna have the most magical orange juice from Rouge Mont Quebec. Rouge Mont Quebec local orange juice. Let's give it a shake, make sure that pulp is exactly where it needs to be. Oh, that's lovely. Give it a smell, beautiful, wonderful, the most elevated of ingredients. All right, here we go. Now, we have our ingredients in our shaker cup, but who the fuck do you think you are? James fucking Bond? No, not shaken, stirred. And I will tell you why. If you decide to put a cap on this and shake it, the carbonation will explode, just like a 16 year old with his first female touch. Now, this is nicely shaken, nicely stirred, my apologies, we put the cap on. We take a local St. Ambroise brewery, again, the most local, the freshest ingredients, including our pint glass that has been chilled in the freezer overnight to keep our light, airy, elevated Mississauga Margarita just at the right temperature. Let's pour it in and see what we've got here. Oh, look at that lovely color, the texture. You can see the pulp forming at the top. What an amazing drink. Doesn't matter if you're in Mississauga, if you're in Montreal, if you're across the pond in the UK, this is a phenomenal next level drink. Cheers, mates. Well, um, that's a thing, I guess, that's uh, that's done now. So, <laughs> um, not sure if it was a la Gordon Ramsay or a la Bear Grylls. I personally got a little bit confused there. I'm sure you probably did as well. Regardless, we have the first ever, I don't want to call it cooking, kitchen preparation video from Christo's Cafe. Um, let me know if you guys liked it or not. If um, you thought it was good, if you want to see more of them, let me know. Um, I'm down to do more, whether serious or about that serious. Um, I'm, I'm good with either one. Just keep me posted uh, and I will happily put them out there. Until next time, enjoy your Mississauga margaritas. Oh, what a lovely tea party.